I'm actually going to try to win this here. I've been stopping early to achieve my goals. Now I want to go to the end and come out in first place. I'm playing as Russia. Oh boy. That's partly because I already played as India. China wouldn't be that entertaining because they already start off in second place. And I want a challenge. I don't want to just be America and dominate. First thing on my mind is to reform the Soviet Union. Pretty sure that's what every Russian leader thinks. I feel like whenever I play this game, Russia always finds himself in a massive war against Europe. That's probably what's going to happen to us too. But I'd like to keep tensions low in the very beginning. Maybe go after the Caucasus Mountain nations. Maybe get some colonies in Southeast Asia. I don't really know why. I now understand the need to get a port because we need to get to Africa. There's a lot of juicy nations for us to eat up down here, but it's a little bit too far from us unless we like blast through the Middle East. It won't be easy. They'll probably form a coalition against us. But we are currently an autocracy. Surprise, surprise. But we do get some nice military bonuses. We're currently 11th in terms of GDP. We might just have to like straight up kill America and China. Actually, if I just take out China, that should be enough to help me jump up above America. I also do border North Korea. They might be a nice power to maybe take out, eat up. Because what we need is money and getting Seoul would be nice and of course all of the Japanese islands. Man, look at all the Asian nations makes me realize just how poor we are up here in Russia. I probably won't be able to bust through Europe and get like some of that juicy German or Dutch stuff. I don't know why I describe it like that. Obviously Ukraine hates us. Justified. Meanwhile, our best bud is Belarus. Unsurprisingly. We also have Hungary, North Korea. Okay, that's a, maybe a reason to not take out North Korea. Man, all the lands that I want already are my best friends. So like, I don't really want to ruin the only friend that I have. The only friendships that is. That's just press play and kind of see what happens. This game's all about being opportunistic. At least that's how I played it anyways. Who loves Georgia? Georgia has a lot of like friends in the uh, the Middle East. We already have one of the worst relationships with Georgia. Could take them out pretty easily to be honest. Especially because I actually have one of the strongest militaries in the world by far. We just can't attack too fast. Technically we are second uh, slightly above China. I'm going to go ahead and move those units down here just to see. Azerbaijan looks a little bit more difficult. Really don't want to be the first nation to declare war. Especially because the world already hates me. I'm pretty sure once I declare the first war, coalitions are going to pop up. We've got the Slovakians or Slovenians. I'm not sure what that was. They're moving through. Maybe they're going after Turkey. I've got more troops obviously being trained back in Moscow. Now, if I wanted, am I able to attack across the Caspian Sea to Turkmenistan? Oh, I can do that. Okay, I don't want to do that, though. Severe drought is hitting the U.S. I don't really want to get into it with Ukraine because Ukraine is prepared for us. Actually, pretty much all the uh, bordering countries are, are ready for us. I want to make the same winter war mistake by going after Finland. Maybe I should just hit Mongolia really quick. And the only person that might be slightly mad about that is China. Mongolia has some really random friends. Actually, they're friends with a lot of my friends, but we're not friends with them. I'm going to send them over here, make Asia upset at me first, and then try to just go back and forth. War here, war here, war here, war here. I'm sure the coalitions will already begin by then. The next thing we have to kind of ask ourselves is, is this really land worth it? Because by the looks of it, no, not at all. It's just going to be a nice confidence booster, I guess. Okay, clearly wars are being declared, so I feel less bad about immediately jumping into it. We've almost recruited uh, a few more tanks and rocket artillery back at home. As Russia, we should feel the freedom to, like, fight multiple fronts at the same time. I mean, <laughs> there's a certain Austrian painter that thought he could do that, too. I should maybe be careful when I say that. Brunei has just been defeated here. Alright, here we go. War with Mongolia. Let that begin. Here comes the first little Mongolian troop. Not really worried about that. Is China distracted at all? They they might already be at war with uh, India, but it might be a cold war, kind of. Like, the fronts are not advancing. That would be nice. I'm gonna be honestly rooting for India there. Luckily, when I declared that war, uh, nobody, oh, wait, someone did, Azerbaijan, uh, why? Oh, Azerbaijan was their friend, okay, what do we ba have back in here? Okay, I'm gonna send, uh, we're gonna go after Azerbaijan then, I guess. I think, is this going to be enough to take on Azerbaijan? I don't really want to get these guys, uh, killed immediately. I might want to wait a second. Okay, let's take our time here, Drew, let's take our time. We, we just gotta get this snowball slowly rolling, we don't gotta go crazy. Let's split up Mongolia, get as much as possible before Gi China probably joins in. Am I technically already at war with Ukraine? It looks like I kind of am. There's a couple places around the world that don't have any uh, military. I know some of them by heart now. Guyana, uh, Costa Rica. I think there's a couple others in Africa. I don't know if I want to send people out that. I guess we probably should. Especially to make people around the world mad. Oh wait, Azerbaijan is already here fighting me. Can you provide a little bit of support to this dude here, please? Oh man, if, if they're fighting me back this way, that means there's probably no one back at home. I might go ahead and make a strike. Let's go ahead and recruit a couple more dudes just to have somebody kind of doing something back. 300 tanks. I'll take 300 tanks and 310 artillery shots. I don't know how this is going to go. I hope we did actually kill some Azerbaijan units. Here is some. They're going to probably run back home. Yeah, they're, they're probably going to run back home once we enter in, into their territory, but we might be able to kill them before they come back. Uh, we also, oh, there is a unit there. Uh-oh. Oh, well, that's a thousand. It's like 1,500 tanks. We have half that, but we have other people that, some rocket artillery that should be able to handle them. Support of Liechtenstein for Russia at this summit strengthen their relationship. Okay, thanks, Liechtenstein. Big old scary Liechtenstein. The world better tremble. Are these guys going, okay, some are still heading towards me and some are uh, going back for reinforcements. I'm going to send these 
these guys back here. These two can handle clean up Mongolia, the rest of it at least. Italy's now going after San Marino. They might be, Lichtenstein might get killed just for doing what they did. How is this going? There are many rockets hitting this guy's face. Okay, we, yeah, we, we're, we're doing it. We're doing it great. We probably better army composition. I don't know why they kept all their tanks back at home like that. Ah, oh, crap. Oh, here we go. Okay, so Turkey's just declared war on me. Who else? Also, Georgia, possibly. How did you just raise, oh, these are peasants. I was gonna say, how did you just raise these guys? Okay, uh, when does the big boys come? Oh, they're still climbing their way through, uh, the Siberian wilderness. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Okay, and Georgia's actually moving after Azerbaijan. Sorry, no, uh, Georgia's moving after Armenia. Georgia liked that I just took out Azerbaijan, weirdly. Turkey's got a huge army. We don't want to fight that. Okay, good. We'll take all that. Probably connect these troops here. They're fast. They're just, like, infantrymen. Oh, crap. Here we go. Are we gonna be able to fight this big Turkish unit right here? Um... No, not unless we get some reinforcements. I might just back up, to be honest. Yeah, let's let's get out of here. That's a big boy. Is Turkey at war with anybody else? No, so they're probably not distracted. We need Greece to go to war with them. I would rather not fight these guys right now. Because I left their territory, are they going to actually enter into Russian? No, they're actually moving back. Okay, okay, perfect. Because I moved these guys back, we'll wait to regroup. With Mongolia is almost over. What is this? Okay, I might send these guys out to start scouting out, maybe getting some Russian colonies. What is Denmark doing in my Azerbaijani territory? How is our relationship with Iran? I, I guess it's... It's fine. It's pretty neutral right now, actually. The Western powers occasionally like to eat Iran. Uh, I've seen them. Oh, man, they've got a pretty big military, so we don't want to fight them. Eventually, Iran will get into a pretty big war, though, I think. There's more Azerbaijani troops, but it should be okay. Okay, let's just finish them off real quick. Bulgaria's declared war on Ukraine. Why did that happen? That's fine with me, but is there trouble in paradise? Is Bulgaria after us, too? What is Bulgaria doing? I will easily eat that stuff, though, if you want. Okay, Ukraine might just take out their entire military soon. Got a thousand tanks. Okay, we could probably kill them easily. Bulgaria's going nuts. Now they're going after uh, Azerbaijan too and Serbia. Okay, yes, we want to jump on that. Before Serbia gets that, how much troops does Serbia have? They have a lot. Oh, Georgia. Oh, Georgia just died. Uh, okay, we're going to have to declare war on Georgia. This is going to make more people fight us. Ugh. We have peasants fighting the Bulgarians who are just going crazy right now. Sorry, Georgia, but I can't I can't let you fall. Bulgaria just grabbed uh, Crimea away from us. That's nice. Do I have more troops almost done training? I took some out. We need to get 28,000 soldiers. Russia declared war on Georgia. Uh, Turkey, what is Turkey doing again? Turkey was moving some troops around. There were some random peasants that were getting blown up by both me and Bulgaria at the same time. Here we go. Okay, I'm gonna take these guys, get over here. Good, good. See, look at these poor Georgians. They're getting destroyed from both sides. Well, let's get these guys here too. I do not want to go to war with Ukraine. Ukraine, please leave me alone. Okay, you guys gotta end Mongolia. This is getting kind of ridiculous. I don't know if I want to bring any of these guys back. I think I'm gonna send some... Oh man, we're getting in a lot of wars. I might first just send these back to the west, these guys, and then this big unit can... We'll figure out later to do with him. Let's kick out the Bulgarians from here. What exactly is this? This is a nice solid troop versus, uh, well, their rocket artillery. There's no infantry there. Is that going to be a problem? Let's start, let's start firing here, please. Sir, can you, can you, do you have to go that way? Okay, we, we did it. We did. Okay, never mind. We took some casualties there, though. Okay, we need to watch this. Okay, Bulgaria still has troops. Serbia is now at war with Bosnia, too, which is good. So I might be able to squeeze in and grab Bulgarian territory. Let's just finish off here. Poland's declared war on Russia. The Netherlands. Why? What, what did we do? We didn't do anything. This is gonna be scary. Oh, the United States, the Slovenians. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. I I've got to send troops out over here. Greenland. Okay, we're gonna be fighting a whole bunch of Europeans. Luckily, I got one thick boy. Let's bring the thickness together. Do I have anything back here? Yes, I do. Do I have reinforcements? I have reinforcements on the way, but they're taking forever. Finish Mongolia. Holy crap. Kill them. Kill them. What's going on here? I'm going to sit here and just shoot. Oh, yeah. Oh, they don't want none of this. Oh, they do not want any of that. They all just left. Okay, who exactly am I at war with? Literally Literally all of Europe. Fantastic. That's great. All of NATO, in fact. All of NATO. Well, India and China are cool with me. So is Pakistan. Guess it can't get any worse, right? <laughs> I don't think I need to complain too much. It can't get any worse. <laughs> As long as I focus my efforts on killing Europe, then this can't be that bad. What I need is for Europe to have somebody else set their sights on not me. Oh, it. Oh, there is already fighting happening. Italy? Why? There already is Europe breaking down, but they do have a mutual enemy. France, Austria. Oh, Austria hasn't declared war on me yet. We do need to be careful of uh, the Turks. Can't do any more tanks. We're done with tanks. Clean this up real quick, and then I'm going to move into Bulgarian territory. Does Bulgaria still have troops? They, they almost have none. Okay, I'm moving in. Luckily, we're going to get there pretty fast. Fast. Namibia's declaring. Okay, we need to worry about. I think the Romanians might be a little bit upset. Please, Turkey, leave me alone. Turkey, please. Turkey, please. Turkey's really the only huge threat that I have. Oh boy, yeah, they were. Oh my goodness, this is absolutely insanity. Do I have? Okay, I do have these guys coming soon. Holy crap! Do I just sit here and do? I don't know if this is a good idea. Holy! Oh my god! I don't know if I want to do this. How fast am I losing units? I am losing units pretty fast. Oh, there's so much, but there's distractions going on. That's the thing. Some people are. Oh my! 
my god, I really want this, but I don't know if I want it that bad. Yeah, I'm going in here. Do I do I just leave alone? Do, when do I leave? When do I leave? When I drop below, I mean, we should probably leave right now. Literally, everyone's just sending everything at me. All right, all right just leave. Just leave. Tactical retreat. Tactical retreat. I think they will follow me for a little bit, so we're gonna have to fire on these guys in the Black Sea. Oh my goodness. Whoa! You guys are being a little bit much, okay? This was uncalled for. Now the Turks are coming. Holy crap. I'm literally just running for my life right now. Why is your... Why do they hate me? <laughs> Actually, I know why, but... Okay, well, we're gonna clean up Azerbaijan. That's something. Please tell me it's almost over. Please tell me this is almost over. We are back in our lands. Yeah, I was gonna say, this is... You're going against all sorts of war crimes for this. Okay, I don't even know how that survived. That was insane. Okay, let's not attack Europe then. Do not want that. S look at Serbia go, though. Man, they are allowing, you know, Serbia to do whatever they want, but for some reason, I can't. Okay, so Azerbaijan is gone. Uh, Bulgaria is still technically here some, for some reason. This is still a pretty fat unit that I want to send out to do some sort of reconnaissance. I don't know if I want them to go to... Is there anything in Asia at all that looks like somewhat weak? Not really yet. Oh, Papua New Guinea usually. Oh, it's already being taken over. By the time I get there, it'll be over. South Korea tends to do pretty good here. How about uh, Japan? No. I just want something... You know, at the very least... Wait, what is that? What the hell is that? Oh, that's a... Oh, whoops. That's a lake. <laughs> Alright, come, come, come over here. I want you to come over here and just sit. And if I can... I might jump on something if I see anything. So what's going on with Turkey? We, we just need Europe to get distracted with something in Africa or, or something. Maybe, maybe taking out Italy. Or do I do another pass at Bulgaria? Maybe not yet. Can I attack Syria? Turkey's not gonna like this. Oh crap, I have to go through Turkey to do this. We don't want to do that. Uh, I see that Syria's got literally nothing over here though. Just peasants. Last thing we need is a second coalition from the Middle East forming against me, which would probably happen. Turkmenistan has almost nothing. Isn't Turkmenistan my friend though? Maybe we should just chill here, Drew. Maybe we should stop trying to kill people. Let's definitely let the Europeans... Okay, so Serbia's now going after Croatia. The problem with Serbia is they're landlocked and I can't get any of that. I tried. I tried to jump after Bulgaria. Okay, I'm gonna reinforce this unit and then maybe after that send something. Did I not fully get this? No, I think I did. There's chaos happening all around the world. It's just like, oh, severe drought has hit Russia. Fantastic. Well, at least we um, redid... We're kind of getting back to the Soviet Union ways a little bit. If Mongolia, which the Soviet Union never really had, but okay, this is 50,000. That does not look pretty good. If I bust through your... I wonder if I just combine these units. That would be enough. Okay, well, we still need to recruit some things back at home, except for tanks. We don't have any more of those. I'm actually, weirdly at war. Oh, these are um, the United States are picking up more territory. Mexico doesn't like me. Why doesn't Mexico like me? The Europeans are really focused on the Serbians uh, right now, which means that their troops are all nearby. Did Croatia declare war me too? Yes, Croatia, Albania, all of them did. I should really try to support Serbia. I'm gonna try again. We're gonna just try one more time and see what happens. If I need to pull these guys back, I will. Turkey's already seeing what I'm doing. They're already sending stuff. Yeah, I think they the Norwegians are already gonna kind of try to catch me here. Please leave me alone. Please leave me alone. Just give me some of this. Give me some of this. Okay, here come the Bulgarian. Uh, I think those are peasants. Those are peasants. The Norwegians are here. The Romanians are here. Here come the Greeks. Can I just get a little bit of this, please? Am I asking for that much? I'm already thinking about pulling out. Oh, yep. Yep, yep. We're pulling out. Yep. Never mind. All right. We can't do this. We cannot do this. They will not allow it. Bunch of party poopers. And there goes my only ally, Serbia. They're gone too. Serbia's been defeated. Does France have. Oh, no. They have just a similar color. I thought France declared war on uh, the Netherlands. Holy crap. Yeah, they will not allow this to happen. We have to literally get back home. Okay, we lost a lot of troops in that ordeal, in that little adventure. Okay, good. But people won't come into my territory, so I appreciate that. <sighs> okay, well, there goes Cambodia. This is something that I probably should have jumped on. Vietnam is entering in too. We just need to take advantage of somebody that doesn't have... Oh, Pakistan's... Oh my goodness, Pakistan. Turkmenistan's almost out of stuff. I mean, at this point, it can't hurt to try, right? Pakistan's about to take that whole stuff over. Let me just get a little bit extra. Is that a Georgian unit? I think I, I thought it killed all of Georgia. Maybe Georgia has a colony somewhere. Okay, well, I'm gonna try to eat some of this stuff. I don't really know why, but this could be a good jumping off point against Iran. This might pull us into a whole separate war with some people uh, in Central Asia. Please let me make sure that I can still get to Uzbekistan. Oof! How did they do that? Well, I'm just gonna go straight after Uzbekistan. Oh, I can't because they cut me off like that. All right, I'm actually having some problems here with Uzbekistan. We could have jumped to Uzbekistan who has zero troops, but um, they cut us off. Are you at war with Kazakhstan now? No, you're not. Kind of a slow start here, but uh, GDP-wise, we are still... We're in 10th place now. Slightly better, but not by much. Still trying to kind of look around to see if I can't get anything. Or South Korea colonizing this game as they like to do. I could maybe go after Somalia. It is a long adventure, but I mean, if the game allows it, I mean, let's do it. I don't see why not. Oh, you're gonna go that? Okay, that's fine. Whatever. Do whatever you want. Jumping that way really didn't do much for us. I feel like I need to keep some troops at home. Oh, man. Pakistan's now going after Kazakhstan. Well, if you if you take out Kazakhstan, then I'll... Okay, let me, let me just get up on those borders real quick. Pakistan's going to win this fight. This is just a lot of land. Literally, the entire world's gonna be declared war on me. Like, not 
too much longer from now. I don't know who defends Central Asia though. They don't really have a lot of friends except for me. Like if I declare war on them, are these peasants? Yeah, I think those are peasants. I think I can. I'm, I'm free to just kind of move through all this stuff. I just can't let Pakistan get all of it. Are these peasants not even really fighting me? Good thing that it is mostly Pakistan that is doing the work. I'm not having to fight too much of the militaries just yet. I would like, oh, Uzbekistan's gonna fall. Right, Pakistan's being extremely aggressive. India's gotta be thinking about fighting them soon. Oh, India's got a huge military too. Why not? Here, here, you might as well help. You're already nearby. Just, just help. Maybe we can touch Kyrgyzstan, get a little bit of that. I don't think that's gonna be the case, but we could try. Look about a thick Pakistan, man. We're so lucky Europe's not like just sending everything at us. Is this South uh, Korea? Yes, it is South Korea. South Korea is so funny in this game. They're so good. They're way stronger than Japan, weirdly. I guess they have a bigger military, or I don't actually don't know about that. Are these peasants versus peasants? Russian peasants versus Kazakhstani peasants. Okay. The only powers that aren't declared war on me in Europe is North Macedonia, I think Montenegro, and Austria. Literally everybody else has. But eventually this will break down, I think. Eventually either Americans are gonna start fighting them or someone's gonna, like the UK might go a little crazy. Let's get there. Nice. Okay, hey, let's go Let's go after Kyrgyzstan really quick. Wait, should we? I don't know, actually. Maybe just reunite first. 70,000 troops there, some gunners. In terms of our military, we've fallen a lot. We're now in fourth place military-wise because I've gotten myself into some pretty bad adventures. Do I just squeeze through Kyrgyzstan and Tajikistan because I know no one's gonna do anything about it? I feel like why not? They are my friend. You know what? Pakistan's my friend too, weirdly. Can we become friends with these peasants? Can you just join the army? Oh, okay. I was gonna say, can you just join the direct uh, military? I guess they can. Don't know if this is a good idea, but we're gonna do it anyways. <laughs> Famous last words. Oh man, Vietnam going nuts. El Salvador got a piece of uh, <laughs> got a piece of Myanmar. I don't know how they did that. I think India and China are at war, but it is like a, just a cold war. They're just kind of standing there. Can you please come help me? Uh, or I wish they could just let me annex you diplomatic. Why not at this point? The thing about the stuff that I'm taking over, it's not like super, you know, valuable, rich stuff. That is the scary part. My war with China? Yes, I am. People's Republic of China has declared war. Okay, so I guess they were the enemy that uh, were, weren't gonna like. Okay, this is fine. It doesn't super matter. I wouldn't mind piecing out with them. This is how the whole campaign ends, though. This, this is not good. This, this is not what you wanted to see. You just start off with such a huge military in this game as Russia. It's just like, I want everything! Oh, man. These mountainy terrain. We, we're barely moving through that. Man, I know we have a lot of things in this division, but still. Germany's declared war on Sweden. Okay, so I think Europe is beginning to fall apart from the inside. I mean, Sweden's got almost nothing, but as soon as I enter that territory, everyone's gonna try to kick me out. If Germany declared war on Sweden, why aren't you guys fighting each other? Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, we do not want to fight that. Oh, my goodness. A million troops. Okay, no, 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 no. Hey, just, just run away. Just, just run away. Oh, they're only mad that I'm entering Ukraine's enter my territory. What? Oh, why, why? But also Belarus. Is it because I'm defending Belarus? Oh, my goodness. Uh, Ukraine's gonna kick my butt. Is it just to attack Belarus? I mean, I'd love to backstab Belarus, though. Don't get me wrong. Because we can't have Ukraine have all that. Kyrgyzstan's entered my territory. Oh, boy. India and Pakistan just entered into an alliance. What world is this? Yeah, Kyrgyzstan's, like, taking that stuff back. If I get even close to China's territory, they come after me. And here comes Poland as well. Oh, Poland? They're not holding anything back. Oh, my goodness. Poland just obliterated Belarus. Okay, this feels like World War II all over again. I'm gonna lose Crimea. Well, I can't just let them take all this, right? Oh, we have to... We have, oh, oh, now you want to back up. Why'd they back up, actually? Oh, Ukraine's at war with Poland. Ukraine's at war with Poland. Why do we have to fight you, though? I don't want to be the ones that have to fight you. And as well as all of Europe, who for some reason... Wait, why is Hungary helping me? Oh, Ukraine's got no troops. Oh, no way. Uh, we need to get some men out here as fast as possible. It's not gonna be very much, but 65,000. I'll take that. Take take all this. This is a defensive war, by the way. Just want to add that. Are these Russian peasants? Oh, these are... Okay, Ukrainian peasants. I need to somehow get more troops. I just have nobody left, really. You know, someone... If China walks in, right? China could easily walk in. I've got 65,000 troops left. Oh, Japan's now invading from the E. Oh, no. No, 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 no. We were just about to take out Ukraine. I, I do like that... Is Hungary help? Hungary is helping us. I don't even remember signing that deal, to be honest. Sri Lanka, too, just by killing Ukraine. Oh, yeah. Our, this whole front is dying now. Well, at least we took out Ukraine, I guess, right? Our peasants are taking things over for us. The entire eastern... Oh, my. Just, just finish this. Just finish... I don't I don't care. Oh, well, we lost everything. Yeah, our military got too low. Wow, Hungary. Look at how Hungary's defending us. They're, they're defending us so well. Well, the plan was to go until um, we could go until the end, but we clearly are not going to make it to the end. I didn't realize I need to literally be walking on eggshells as Russia. Big thanks to my patrons. You'll find a link in the description down below to support me. The beautiful Megan Underwood. Drum your dad back with the milk. Look outside. A fat I normal. cannot sleep without Jack Trevin's voice. annoying Amateur friend. archaeology. Caramel Frederick Sibling. Inquisitor. Zero. John Denver. Carino is Luxembourg best girl. Sebi, if you Robert hear this, e. I love Tambrin. you. The Great the Mexican 760. And Sandy Boy.